welcome to another beautiful morning or beautiful evening wherever you are we are using the magic of you oracle i felt like i was going to sneeze i hope you guys are doing well so let's see what we can get for today uh wow okay so we have sacrifice 28 what can you let go of Look at this baby. <laughs> Hiding my handicap finger. <laughs> and then we have vertigo, vertigo, vertigo. Whatever you choose will be correct. That's actually a very interesting combination. And it's a key. And there's a key. <laughs> there's a key on these cards. We are unlocking something. Whatever you can let go of. Oh, that's so interesting. The picture is very interesting with the girl. Look at the skeleton hand. Whoa. Mm. Okay, I feel we should take the book today. You will be surrounded by flowers today. I heard. Surrounded by flowers. Flowers can be a renewal. Well, that's not what I wanted to say. Okay. Flowers can be a symbol of renewal, yes. Well, it is something about renewal then. Which actually makes sense with this, like, sacrifice, with this letting go of something. Sacrifice. Do you feel you are being kept in the dark? Question mark. Do you feel like you are buried? Buried. 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 Redefine your thoughts to contemplate that you are not buried. But planted! Well, flowers. Yeah, we plant flowers. There's something about all this. Soon it will be your time to bloom. You're choosing something today. What are you choosing? Because whatever you're choosing is the correct choice. Soon it will be your time to bloom. To be aware and to know. But for now, you must merge with the darkness in order to grow. I love that. The maiden has sacrificed her ego to become her primal self. Her reptile-like spine descends from her pineal gland. <gasps> it's time to consider what you are willing to sacrifice, let go of. What are you prepared to recycle in yourself, in people, in places, and things around you in order to nourish and grow? The harder the sacrifice, the greater the growth. Yeah. I felt like I saw a rainbow. What can you let go of? Well, the ego is always in our way, right? The ego is always comparing with other people. I think that is one thing that we have to stop. We have to stop comparing ourselves with other people. And I would say that is the hardest. And saying that the other card just like... Yeah, it didn't even fill to the floor, it like scooped away. Whatever you choose will be correct. So luxurious is the problem of choice. Well, that is kind of true, right? And yet, as you consider all the dizzying array of possibilities, a sensation of tilting of things being of kilter paralyzes you into inaction. What can you do? Question mark. What should you do? Question mark. Notice the keys stand straight and true. Each one opens a door leading to possibilities, opportunities and lessons. Whatever you do now would be correct. But some lessons may be more enjoyable than others. Hmm. The unexpected door will yield the most gratifying rewards and valuable lessons. Be brave and walk through the door less opened. Remember that. The door that's less opened. Hmm. I had this this vision or this yeah. Yeah, this vision of two doors. You're standing in a dark room and there's two doors in front of you. One door is fully opened and you can see like a lush green park it's sunny there's nothing else than just 
the grass you can see and with the other door it's only half open so you can just see a little bit of light and sunshine but there is a lot of weed and flowers yeah flowers mixed in with weed and instantly you would choose to door with out weed right the door that's just fully open with the the grass what you call that yeah like a park but there's no trees or anything just this <laughs> cross plane like we say in Denmark yeah but instead of choosing that door because I feel this is the symbol of this is the door that everyone takes everyone takes that door no one takes the other door because no one wants to do the work of removing the wheat but you don't know what's behind that door there could be the castle, right? Like if you chose the other door, you had to walk miles and miles and miles to reach to the castle. But with this door, that's half closed, but you can still see the weed and you can see a little bit of sunshine. If you would just open the door, you would see that you can take 10 steps. And you are at your castle and castles in... Symbolic, symbolic meaning is obviously your goals, your desires, your end. Well, it, there is never an end um, destination because that life is about growth and going through magical experiences, ab abilities, right? We are not supposed to be on a standstill. No. We are supposed to move forward. So try to fiddle a little bit around with that vision and the door. Try to visualize that you're opening that door and see what you see because there might be a sign for you. And we had this message with the flowers. I can't remember what it was now again. Yeah. Unlock your hidden truths. I saw that on um, the book. Everything is falling to the ground right now. But okay, I feel this is the message for today. Very symbolic and beautiful. Don't travel the same route or the same pathway that everyone else does. It's okay to be different. And it's okay to do things in your tempo and in your way. Everyone is rushing today and there's no need to rush. No. That is the message. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.